I've got a good one for you today. Right, let me stick a tea on, get a cup of tea, and we'll get on with it. Boy, have I got a good one for you today. <laughs> Made my day, this has. So it turns out that... Now, listeners, I have someone on the line who fears he may be a gay. Jesse Lee Peterson, a preacher. You might call him a hate preacher, but he preaches in the name of love. He's a Christian. He speaks out against uh, same-sex couples, that type of thing, and pretty much anything he doesn't agree with. He'll stick his oar in. He often speaks out against homosexuality, right? He says things like, Beta! When describing anybody, really, that he doesn't, that's doing something that he doesn't agree with. And I might get into that later, what, why he uh, is the way he is. But some news has come out about him. As vocal as he is about homosexuals, and homosexuals, as he calls them, he's been uh, discovered as being a homosexual himself. He's been engaged in sexual activities, sexual intercourse with several men, apparently. I'll let the guys tell you themselves. And then he started rubbing my uh, genital area, and I'm like, uh, what's happening right now? Pick my clothes off. And the next thing you know, we're, we're fully at it, basically full-on uh, sexual acts. I'm trying not to laugh, but do you see what I mean? That level of hypocrisy, I cannot ignore, I'm afraid. A fellow atheist YouTuber, an uh, awesome human being, Jacqueline Glenn, she uh, had a little word to say about it as well. And she's actually had an interview with him, but uh, yeah. I don't feel like everybody talking about him is like outing him in any kind of way. I mean, he spends his livelihood and his career and makes money off of bashing a community that it turns out he's a part of. There is just so much toxicity that comes out of him that has been damaging to the LGBT community that I just, I, I want this to happen. If someone is going to be out there homophobic and bashing and they're gay, like they shouldn't be able to enjoy something in, in private and then take that right away from other people. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. In fact, let's ask Jesse. Jesse, how would you describe a person that's behaved the way you behave? What would you call them? And that you are a beta male. Beta. If it's true. Beta male. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. The one last thing. What does the um, Bible, your holy book, what does it actually say about people who engage in behavior that you do? I know what it says. Let's read the verse, shall we? So should we put you to death? No, we're better than that. Because your holy book is poison. We know it's poison. And we, we don't engage in such nasty behaviour. It's evil and sadistic. So basically, the last thing I wanted to say is, how do you justify this to yourself? How do you reconcile this? This is the interesting part for me, because I'm interested in what people think and why. Because our beliefs are important. Our beliefs have inform our actions and our actions have consequences. They affect other people. So what we, what we believe is important that our beliefs uh, correspond to reality and are evidence-based. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, comment in the comment section. Like and subscribe. See you next time. And one last thing before I go. The take home from this video is, so Jesse Lee Peterson is a beta male. Take it away, Jesse. Say it. Beta!